This is the story of the mystic star known as Astrea and the six planets that orbit her. Oh yeah, and my name is Kitamari. This is Kitamari Place. I probably should have said that at the beginning instead of just starting to read the intro here. <laughs> in a distant past, Astrea gifted one child in each of the six worlds with an Asterium. Asterium? A Aster... <laughs> No, it's Astrarium. Astrarium. Okay, a relic that holds the secrets of the stars. Ah, my mouth is all funny. Uh, these children became known as the Six Sided Oracles. Ruled by the tenants of the Mother Star, they guided their people and built thriving civilizations that mastered the art of astromancy. Thus began the Starlit Age, an era bathed in light and blessed with Astrea's celestial gifts. Then, unexpectedly, Astrea went silent and started to fade. Worried by her absence, the oracles decided to investigate, an anomaly was noticeable in Star Mother's heart. Afraid of what could happen, they devised the creation of a towering monument in the capital of the sixth world, Aquarius. One that would remove the anomaly. Oh, this one's pretty. Screenshot, screenshot. But they found that below the light there was fire, and below the fire there was darkness. Astrea's heart fell into Aquarius, and a fiery cataclysm was unleashed, engulfing the entire star system and corrupting the souls of the weak wilt. That day became known as the Crimson Dawn. Still, Astrea's gifts remain scattered across the worlds, and with them, it is possible to purify her dark influence. But the ones who could manipulate them are not present anymore. After a long silence, echoes of the ancient cataclysm are once again surfacing and threatening to swallow the persisting worlds. With the spread of corruption, the once lost Astrariums have awakened and have started calling the descendants of the Six-Sided Oracles. Guided by the mysterious call, they set out on a journey to Aquarius in a final effort to defend all they've ever known. Astraeus Six-Sided Oracles, click to start. I like that intro. I like the, the storybook of it. Can you imagine reading that to a child? I imagine they'd be very confused. No, it, it has a dreamy quality. I, I do enjoy it well enough. Um, I don't know. I, I'm going to be a little less, less uh, vigilant about this stuff because I think I go overboard a little bit. Only a little. Let's take a look-see. Um, Gameplay, battle speed. Ooh, I want ultra fast. No, um, I guess we'll see what the combat feels like. Actually, I don't know anything about this game. <laughs> I don't remember. It's been a little while. I won it in a giveaway, and I remember looking it up on Steam. I'll have the link in the description. And I thought it looked like a lot of fun, so we'll see. Should be. Mooney, the Astral Disciple. Salarius, Ostra, and eh, Sothis, Hevelius. Okay, well, we'll go with Mooney. I like that name anyway, Mooney. The Astral Disciple, character complexity. Sounds... Sounds right for me. I don't... <laughs> we'll just jump in. Jumping in blind. Oh, my Astra, what am I supposed to do? What's happening? My dear friend got corrupted. 
There is nothing I can do. I can't save her. Wait, who are you? What are you doing here? No one comes to this doomed planet. Doomed. <laughs> I like that text effect there. I'm Mooney. I was called to Aquarius by this grimoire. Grimoire? Grimoire? Grimoire, wait. This is one of the six-sided oracle's astrariums. If you have this grimoire, gr grimoire? Grimoire. <laughs> it means that you are one of the new oracles and you can save her. Here she comes. What? Oracle. Rawr! Oh, my dear friend, how could I let this happen to you? We gotta purify her fast before she gets stronger. You will need to learn a few things to purify her. Well, that's one way of, uh, referring to battle. But first, let's draw the dice. Alright, battle start. Whatever, <laughs> whatever this battle system is, we have dice, and this is your dice hand. You need to use those dice to purify your enemies back to normal. Purify them back to normal, okay. Enemies also roll dice, but they roll the same dice each turn. After you play all your actions, enemies will activate the action that they rolled. These are the main actions of our world. Purify and corrupt. Purify decreases corruption. That means that it will damage enemies and heal you. Damage enemies and heal me. Corrupt is the opposite. It increases corruption, meaning that it heals enemies and damages you. Heals enemies, damages me. Sounds great. Note that corrupt actions have a red outline. Actions with a red outline are considered mandatory actions and need to be used before you end your turn. Oh. Therefore, you must use all corrupt actions before you end your turn. Um, interesting. So we're... <laughs> this reminds me a little bit of Inscription in that there, there's no way to avoid the chaos. Bad things are going to happen with each turn. This is the enemy corruption meter. It starts fully filled with corruption, but you need to purify it to win the battle. Oh, he has 7 HP. 7. Uh, you also have a corruption meter. It starts fully filled with purification. But if your corruption meter gets fully filled with corruption, you will lose one heart. If you lose all your hearts, you will become corrupted and will lose the game. Only three chances. Let's try to purify her. All right, we're going to purify you. Oh, you only have seven HP. Corrupted Antiquarian. Player corrupt, deal two corruption to you. Okay. Um. Hmm. So. This, this should be easy enough, I think. When your draw pool is empty, dice from discard are shuffled back into your draw pool. Click here to view the dice in your discard. Kidok. Uh. Okay, so... There we go. That sounds fair, right? I, I am confused by this battle system. It is definitely unique. And I also enjoy the, the visuals. Look at those trees. What kind of bizarre, uh, I wanna say, not celery, leeks? Leek trees, okay, anyway, end turn. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> right click on this die to view all its faces. All right, I have viewed all of its faces. <laughs> you can right click on any die to view all of its faces. Okay, I need to heal. Um... Ooh. Deal three purification to myself. Oh, I think I would like to do that. And... We're going to have a long battle because I've already handled this in a very silly way. <laughs> well, this is the first battle. It, I, I can't lose, right? I don't think I'm going to lose. Yeah, see? 
all fine. Oh no, too late. She's resisting your purif purification. She's getting stronger. All enemies have an over-corruption meter. When they receive corruption, they get healed, but their over-corruption also increases. Wow, so... This is gonna be a long battle. <laughs> Once an enemy's over-corruption meter gets fully filled, they will get over-corrupted and activate the action attached to it immediately. I think you will need to use all your Astrarium power to purify her. As one of the six-sided oracles, you have the power to use corruption in your favor. You have the power to use corruption in your favor. Attached to your corruption meter are actions called virtues. As your corruption increases and passes a virtue, that virtue is enabled to be played. When enabled, virtues can be played just like dice. These virtues can be enabled multiple times per turn. Now, please purify my dear friend, Oracle. You are our, you are our only hope. Okay. It's been a while. I haven't really done certain things. Okay. And then deal three. Sure, why not? Um. Draw one. Deal four purification to an enemy. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna walk on wild side. Here we go. This was a mistake. <laughs> it's a mistake, yes. Um, hmm. I think I will heal myself. I still have virtues to be played. I am confused. Do you know what's going on? I. <laughs> okay. End turn. Enemy turn. No, I, I, uh, I understand. For the most part. There we go. This will be easy. I think. This virtue is different. At the start of the turn, it will be automatically enabled and can be played only once per turn. Convert one die from your hand until the end of enemy's turn. Cool. Hey. Oh, that is that is cool. I like that. <laughs> there. Deal one corruption to all targets. I'll just do this and this and draw one. And this. This. Hmm. Well, that's a lot better than it could have been. I'd say this is going pretty well. Still have virtues to be played. Overcorrupted. I don't know why I'm reminded of the battle system from Final Fantasy 13. I think I know why. It's because it's go this battle's going on too long. <laughs> That's why. It's because this battle feels like it's going on a little bit too long. Mm. Yay! Mesa's savior. Save Mesa. Antiquarian. Oh, my Astrea! I was so scared, but you did it. She's back. Oh dear, I got corrupted again. But I didn't need your help. I'm sure I would be able to purify myself at any time. Is she, uh... What, what, what is she? She's... She kind of looks like she could be, um... Cthulhu's... Uh... Maybe niece? Cthulhu's niece. You were doomed. You were about to become one of those things forever. You're exaggerating, Safe. How many times have I got corrupted? I've lost count, but here I am, alive and uncorrupted. Don't mind her. She's just an old grumpy. Mesa, you won't believe it. 
she has the grimoire that belonged to the Noctuan, no, Noctuan or Oracle, one of the six-sided oracles. Say again? How could that be? My brother used to be one of them. That's why I'm here. Oh, maybe her brother is Cthulhu. I don't know. This Grimra has been protected by my family for many generations. I feel it is calling me to the Astrea's heart, the source of all corruption. So you know what to do. You need to go to where the Crimson Dawn happened. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Mesa. M Mesa? Mesa. I think just Mesa. The Antiquarian. And this little talking sentinel here is safe. The bell keeper. We will help you along your journey. If you bring us star shards, we can use them to improve your resources. May Astrea bless you. Thanks, Mooney. Good luck on your journey. You should turn your head towards Mooney when you say that. Tainted Reef, Chapter 1. All right, we're going to slay the reef. A uh, normal battle, a normal challenge, yields 50 star shards in a chest. All right, let's go. Oh, I like these uh, monster designs. The one looks like a seashell, and then the other looks like a... I don't know, the other is kind of friend-shaped. Looks like a little neopet or something. Okay. So, what shall we do? Shall damage ourselves. Apply one light shield to any target. Deal one purification. I don't know if I want to use that on me. Reroll up to two dice from any target. Oh, Here we go. Hmm. Uh. Eh, whatever. <gasps> uh, that, that was the <laughs> least interesting turn, though. I I don't know. E. No. I should have used this uh, at the beginning, right? I should have used that at the beginning. Yeah, we'll just end this turn. Oh, we, we don't have a choice? Oh, we do have a choice. Okay, everything's fine. Alright. Deal three corruption to any target. Yeah, I think I want to reroll. Um, yeah, some of these are not super exciting, so I'm going to reroll them. Okay, that one is even worse. <laughs> Get this, this, and this. Yay! Sorry, you adorable Neopad. Oh, it turned blue. Okay. There we are. Three corruption to a target. No. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um. Shadow Mantle wore off. I'm gonna go ahead and reroll these two. Uh -oh. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna put this on me. And. Huh. If you reroll at least one, okay. Definitely this one. Hey, that sounds good. And then this, there we are. Purification, draw one. I feel like the animation could be a little faster right there. Uh, it's not a big deal though. Hmm, then turn. This is a pretty relaxing game, pretty chill game. I could see this being fun on a Steam Deck. It's... I don't know what just happened. I, <laughs> I know that uh, it sucks <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> That's what I know for a fact, because uh, now I have to choose between damaging myself and healing this fellow. 
Okay. Oh no, I died. <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm still alive. Oh, how nice. Oh, that is actually very, very um, generous, I would say. Okay, just a moment. Let me look at this closer. Convert one die from your hand until the end of enemy's turn. And to die with any type of corrupt action into a purify action. Yay! <laughs> ah! Corruption purified. Win your first battle. Purification pioneer. I'm going to collect all. Risky, huh? Why would we choose? Oh, look at that. 11 purification. <laughs> This is like if you really want to play on the wild side, but get some really, uh... If, I mean, if you had good luck, you're gonna have great luck. Uh, this could result in either utter devastation or a massive victory. Now, Purify Plus, on the other hand, this one looks fantastic. I think I'll be on the safe side here. Twilight Sigil. Apply three Twilight Sigil to any target. And two, three, two. What? What? It, <laughs> creatures with uh, whatever. I don't know. I, I like to. Wow, this this one looks uh, terrible. I mean, it would be if we were on the side of corruption. I think this would be a fantastic hand. But for now, I I don't know about. Let, let's let's be safe. Safe, Mooney. I mean, we're just starting, so. What do I do with these? Manufacture and improve resources. I like this background here. I like uh, leek trees. Do you, do you like leek trees? I have never sat under a leek tree yet. I would like to. Oh, look at that enemy. I'd like to put him on my table. Could make a nice uh, nightlight. Okay. <gasps> Mm. If you reroll, um, hmm. I I don't know what I'm doing. Do you know what I'm doing? I <laughs> I just want to end this turn. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Agony, doom. It can't be that bad. Convert. Enhance. Sure, what about this one? Wow. I'll take it. And... I don't know, I feel like they're on my... Are we, sorry, I... <laughs> my... <laughs> my voice ran away with me. Um, I feel like there are too many things here. Like, too many descriptions. <laughs> it's too much to keep track of. Uh, I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just... I don't know. It's just a bit much, especially when I think about uh, something like Slay the Spire, which is just so fast, or... Um, what is that one? Dicey Dungeons? Is that what it's called? I forget. But that one is also quite fast moving and just really quick to. Okay, just a moment. Let me <laughs> reroll. Reroll. Yes, I want to reroll this one and I want to reroll this one. Thank you. Ah, how nice. Look at this. Four. We're going to enhance you. E, that is cool. I don't know why I said E, but yeah. See, this one takes too long to charge up. Now I can't even use it. Oh, he's very angry. Look at him. He has agony and he has doom. He's on his last legs. You know he's on his last legs. He doesn't even have them. Let's take a look. No! Oh. 
let's draw. Only one? Oh. Okay. End of battle. I'm glad that, um, that they don't have that over-corruption thing there. Moonlight Wrath. I kind of like this one. Paralyzed Hex. See, there, there's just too much. There's, there's too much for me. I don't, I don't want to read all this. Okay. A die that adds more Plague Hex die into your dice pool. Negative dice that stays in your dice pool for the rest of the battle. Sounds lovely. I will go, <laughs> go with this. And what, what is this? There's even more for me to learn. There's even more. Um, Okay, deal six purification to any target. Add one wound hex die into your draw pool. A die with corrupt actions. Negative die that's dice that stays in your dice pool for the rest of So what is what is the difference with die and dice? I um I don't know. I'm new to life. I just got back from space. Uh Fulament Quills Plus. Scarlet Sigil. You know what? Let's let's just go with that. Ooh, unknown. I always go with unknown random events. Resourceful buddy. A shiny ray of hope for everyone. Or a lunar refractor. Convert your bad luck. Solar plexus. One purification. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. Discard one. Three purification. I kind of like this one, I guess. I don't know. Now we have a friend! Mechanical buddy acquired a sentinel. And choose up to two. Now we're going with... Uh, oh, wait, no. Okay, sorry. I was... Um... Oh, we can go to the Sentinel shop. Let me check that out. Hey, the Oracle is here. Found some really good stuff. I do enjoy this art style quite a bit. These are Sentinels. They are helpers which have their own dice and own corruption meter. They are independent of you, and therefore their dice are not considered part of your hand. Also, effects that affect only you won't affect Sentinels. You can have up to two Sentinels. If their corruption meter gets fully filled with corruption, they break and will be... Repaired only at the end of battle. Well, that's pretty generous, I would say. You can click on show dice to show their dice. I would like to show... Wow, Starry is the winner, but this could be cool too. I mean, if we needed some defense, but I kind of... I think I like... I like Starry. Are you sure? Yes. Ah, I wonder how many we can have of just friends here. Let's leave. They keep looking for goodies. All right, hard battle. A tougher challenge yields 100 star shards, a chest, and a star blessing. A normal challenge. I I'll take a normal challenge. <laughs> hey, fish. We have some fish friends. We're going to purify them. Okay, a dice with corrupt actions. It stays uh, in your dice pool for the rest of the battle. There we go. Mm. This. You. And there. Sentinels. Oh. Do they... Ah, okay. We wanna, um, I'm gonna do these two. Hmm. I think I wanna re- oh. I wanna re-roll. Can enhance, convert. Yeah, it's just, it's a bit much for me, all these things. But I feel like this is a game that if you, you know, really got into it, it, it wouldn't feel like... A lot of stuff to remember. Hmm. 
whatever. I, have to, I just <laughs> I, I don't like um, I don't like spending. Like I'm I'm glad that I don't I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Do you know what I'm talking about? I am just playing this game, and I have nothing to. Oh, there we go. Convert the enemy's turn. Enhance. Increase a die with any type of purification. I mean, there's not really anything to do with these. Let's just let's just move on. We should try to heal up soon. All right, you, you. These are also low level. Destroy. If we roll. <laughs> Didn't really do much of anything. Uh, let's see what would happen with these. Oh no! <laughs> Why? Um, this sucks. I should have just used that on myself so that I could with these. Uh, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Let's just do that and. Um, whatever. Well, we're healing him. <laughs> Overcorrupted. Uh oh. I'm scared. <laughs> no! I mean, there, was, there wasn't really any reason for me to say no, was there? <laughs> this is a very generous system. Um, I don't know why I got scared there. I. I don't know. I mean, there isn't really anything to be scared about. Mm. Let's do this. Mm. Enhance. I want to enhance this one. Discard. Ooh. Discard this. Yay. That was nice. Oh. Uh, here. So close. Yay. That was a fantastic battle. Corruption purified. Acceptance plus. Sounds awful. Um, astral rebound. With this. I don't know. No oh, <laughs> look at this one. I I like this this right here. If this dropped during a boss fight, right? How good would that feel? And then these other ones aren't too terrible. Lose a heart, unforgeable, dissolve life. Oh, that one sounds terrible. Let's go with it. Confirm. Let me see how Ooh, we're almost at the boss. Okay. Oh wow. Can I choose the one? Can I choose the, the one that seemed seemed uh, terrible? Where is it? Where's that terrible one? Um, hello? Terrible die? Where are you? I'm confused. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm not confused anymore. It's all good. Uh, this is this is the one. I would like to destroy that one. Thank you so much. Sentinel. Hey, the Oracle is here. I found some really good stuff. Mm. I mean, we probably should try to use that, but I'm going to go with the charged pile. I like this, uh, this style. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, I should have known. I think I'm just... 
There we go. Auto turret. Let's leave. Oh wait, upgrade. We could have upgraded. Oh, we can't go back. <laughs> we'll just have to do the best we can with what we have. Uh, wait, no. We're still here. Okay, I would like to see about upgrading. Sentinel upgrade. Ah, uh, see, I should have just done that from the beginning then. I could have upgraded Starry next time. Here you can pray for Astrea's help. Recover one heart, sacrifice a heart for a boon, or gain star shards. Um... Goodness, what do I want to do? Oh, um, I, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Can you imagine getting a game over right now? <laughs> Recover a heart. That's nice. Here we are. Tainted Reef. Boss battle. Smoldering beast. The final challenge of Tainted Reef. Yields 150 star shards, a sentinel, an epic die, and a black hole blessing, and recover all your hearts. A turtle. Look at this turtle friend. Draw phase. Auto turret. Okay. Exciting. Hmm. Well... This hand is not most exciting, actually. Or maybe it is. I have virtues to be played. Next turn. Ah! Oh no, he has. Oh wow, look at this. Look at. Look at this. Please don't. I'm scared. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Enhance. Draw one. No! <laughs> no! Oh no! Wait, I don't, I don't understand. Do, do you understand this one? I, do, I don't really... Um, I I don't know. Maybe it's not a big deal. I'm still confused about some things. Um, can't really do anything with that, so it's... I should have... I should have... Um, took care of that before. Oh, what is this? Blocks two purification until... Oh, no. And he's gonna get two turns, so I'm in trouble. I have one heart after this. But he's at... I don't know why I'm saying he. I didn't... <laughs> They're at, uh... They're at, uh... Half health, so... We're doing okay. Reroll. Um... I don't know, it's... Come on, something good. Nope. Of course not. Hmm. Choose a die from your hand to copy and roll. Hmm. Oh. Not too exciting. Draw one. Here we are. I'm very quiet now. I, <laughs> I am focused, I guess. Such minor hands here. Oh, you don't have much. Look at this. Let's just stand this turn. Yeah, that we no longer have pals. Both dead. It's okay, we're gonna make it somehow. 
Okay, deal five purification. Here we are. Astral rebound. The next time you play is return to your. Let's. Let's take a chance. Oh. Hmm. I'm gonna make it. Oh no! All right. Dangerous. to keep both of these two and I definitely want to enhance you um mm. I don't really utilize this one do I I just don't think about it a lot I guess Here we go. It's down to the wire. I... I don't know what's gonna happen. Anything could happen. What? Okay, let me look closer. Okay, why do you not want to work? I can't really reroll anything. <laughs> I think I should have been more careful with that turn. Last two turns, I should have been more careful. Going too fast. Oh no! It got game over, right? Oh my goodness. Got corrupted. Look at how that. how the. That looks. Hearts lost on battle. Run score is 110. <laughs> New Oracle unlocked. Solarius the Tide Hammer. The shark. We'll go to the main menu now. Oh. <laughs> That's how it typically goes for me, though. I, I end up failing the boss of the first try. And uh, anyway, my overall opinions, though, I like this game. I do feel like things could feel a little more streamlined. Like there's, I, I guess, uh... I don't know, I feel like there was a little too many, a little too many, few too many things to remember, I think, and probably a lot that I didn't properly utilize along the way. It just seems like it takes a little too long to learn things versus uh, what I'm used to, I guess, of like Slay the Spire, Dicey Dungeons, and what is the other one that I really like? Monster Train? I think it's Monster Train. I don't know why I'm asking. <laughs> why am I asking what one? Um, but I really enjoy the the art style. I enjoy the the atmosphere in a sense. The aesthetic is is pleasing, and this is definitely a solidly designed game. I think it's one that I could get into over time more and more. I do wish there was a bit more flavor when it comes to. I don't know, like the characters, for example, there's not a whole lot going on with that. I mean, there usually isn't for this genre. There usually isn't too much of a story, but uh, there could be a little bit more going on in that way. Uh, but overall, I enjoyed my time, even though I failed. <laughs> I, I still enjoyed my time and I feel like uh, when I jump back into it, right, I will have a little bit, a little bit. Oh, look at all this. 2.72%. This is going to be a fairly long game. Okay, I, I love this. You see this? This this is what I like. I li <laughs> like... Oh, wow. You know, actually, this is a 10 out of 10 game. Look at, the, look at all this. This is... 
any any meticulous OCD having players dream come true. We have run history, got corrupted, thank you. Uh, achievements, this is, wow, look at all these. My goodness gracious, 80, okay. I like that. So like I was saying, a lot of effort put into small details that count, I think, that, um, that really add to the experience. There's so much left to collect. There's so much. So, um, yeah, 10 out of 10. And, uh, for comparison's sake, uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories gets a 0 out of 10. Let's see... That sounds harsh. It, it doesn't get a 0 out of 10. It's just... I don't even know if I'm talking about the right one. That's the Kingdom Hearts card game. Oh, I do not like it. I... <laughs> and I pushed so hard. Why, why am I using this opportunity to just, like, complain about Chain of Memories? Um, I... <laughs> I tried so hard to enjoy that game, and it was just so slow and sluggish. Astrea doesn't feel that way, uh, and I feel like whatever gripes I might have about it would disintegrate over time as I, as I did more runs and became very comfortable. So, anyway, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everything. I'll see you later. Bye.